What's going on everybody, it's Joel here and I initially hadn't planned on doing a video today because I just actually just put one up this morning but something came in and we have to talk about it. It's a Nike Romaleos 4. I ordered these a couple days ago on East Bay. They were supposed to be like delayed until like September or something but they came out April 1st like they were supposed to. Um, Mine came in, I got the two day shipping. If you ordered on Nike.com, there is a huge shipping delay. So I ordered them on Nike.com because I get the Nike trainer discount. So I was like, whatever, man, 30% off, I gotta order these. Um, but they're not shipping until who knows when, I don't know. I ordered like the free Metcon 3s on the 26th and they just shipped yesterday. So there's a huge shipping delay on Nike. So. Keep that in mind. Academy has these for $150, but I think a lot of the sizes are out. And another thing about Academy is that they don't ship to California because of Proposition 65 or whatever. Uh, but anyways, I have them, they're here. I tried them on and I have a few things that I think people need to hear before they purchase the Romeo's 4. Keep in mind, I haven't worked out on these yet. Right? This is a first impressions video. I'm probably gonna hit some power cleans or something. There's actually nothing on my program that's telling me to use Olympic weightlifting shoes, but I have to use them because I have to try them out. And I might add in some um, thoughts about the performance of them after this breakdown or first impression part. Uh, so first off, the design. I really like the design. I think it is a pretty sweet looking shoe. Um, some people don't like it, but I personally like the design. I think, it, I think it's a good looking shoe. Um, you've got the swoosh logo and for some odd reason, like if you look on the white one, the swoosh logo goes a little bit deeper into the outsole than the black one. Uh, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know if that's just a shoe by shoe basis, but I noticed it on the stock photos. Another thing is this front mesh area is, it's heavy duty. It's, I mean, it's not like, it's not soft or anything. It's, it's not like your Romaleo 3s where it kind of felt like real paper thin there. It's, it's heavy duty there. These straps are made out of a kind of like ripstop material. They feel pretty heavy duty. We'll see how they, they, they end up over time because they do pass through the bottom of the shoe or the midsole of the shoe. I don't know if that's going to cause any kind of like premature wear uh, because it's just against a hard surface. That's kind of worrying, but I mean, I guess we, we'll, we'll, we won't know until, until we really use these through. The bottom strap also laces through the front part, like right in front of the tongue. Um, laces, nothing special. Uh, they feel okay though. I haven't used them, so I, I can't say if they become untied or anything. Um, two straps. We're back to two straps. And the nice thing about the two straps is that that top strap has a little break in the Velcro so you can put your Velcro over and not kill your laces. Um, that was one thing that I hated about the original Romaleos plus that strap or the Romaleo 2s, that strap was, was gigantic. Um, tongue is padded and kind of has that same fabric that's on the toe box. The ankle collar of the shoe is like, it's more like a nylon type material. Uh, it's harder, uh, it's kind of plasticky, uh, but it kind of has that like ripstop look to it. So we'll see if that holds up over time. I did notice that there's a little bit of uh, heel slip with these. Um, and I also did notice, and I guess we'll talk a little bit more about this later, is that yeah, they do run small. Um, but we'll talk more about that in just one second. We're still going over the design. So the heel cup, really resembles the Romaleo 2s, has that heel, uh, that TPU like cup that goes around your heel area. And then there's like an even more extended TPU heel counter that goes into the midfoot of the shoe in the medial side. So it extends from here all the way into the medial side and then you strap down on top of it. Um, obviously for more medial support with the shoe, the heel itself is actually, it's pretty cool looking. It's like see-through. Uh, it almost has that like organic look to it. I really like it. it re to me, the outsole on this shoe resembles the Romaleo 2s 
a lot more than they do the Romeo 3s. You have this brake right here. Um, not really too sure what that's for. There's absolutely no give at the TPU. Like this is a stiff piece of TPU. I've actually had some Oli shoes where the TPU would actually bend and flex. This is, it's, it's that's solid. That is a, a thick boy TPU heel. Um, no word on the heel height of this shoe. I'm gonna assume that it's uh, somewhere in the 22 millimeter range. So like an effective three quarter inch heel. I wouldn't doubt that they would keep that the same as the original shoes or the Romola 2s, 3s, and yeah, the original shoes. Um, it does say like dominate right at the heel here. It's got a little extended piece of rubber outsole at the heel. It kind of splits away from the um, TPU heel at that area. The, the actual rubber is a little thin. Like if you look at it, it's, I mean, that's like three, four millimeters, not even, not even that, like two, three millimeters thin. Who knows how long that's going to wear over time. Like if you're lifting on like rougher surfaces, that might not stay um, intact for very long. So make sure that you're lifting on like uh, rubber floor or wooden flooring or rubber flooring. Um, probably not the best shoe to take outside. One thing that I did notice is that the outsole is very angular. It like kind of has that Metcon 5 vibe to it where the heel kind of extends out and points and then the metatarsal area extends out and points as well kind of gives like an extended contact area with the ground and this little point right here extends out same on the uh, lateral side so i actually i think that's a cool design uh it looks it looks cool at least so we'll see if that actually works or not uh, but anyways so design wise i think it's good i think it's built really well like compared to the original Romaleo 3s, which were like flimsy as hell. Uh, it's, these are a thick boy shoe. The weight of these, so this is a men's size 10. They're heavy, they're 20.21 ounces. So that is back to, that's way more than the Romaleo 2s. That's like Legacy Lifters, that's like Antas, and that's like the Romaleo ones. I don't know if anyone out there has ever had those, but I that was my that was one of the very first pairs of weightlifting shoes I bought on eBay, and they were heavy. Uh, this is a heavy, heavy shoe. Uh, so this is not a CrossFit shoe. This is a proper Olympic weightlifting lifting shoe. Um, that doesn't mean you couldn't do these or you couldn't wear these for wads, but this is a, a weightlifting shoe. Um, going on to the fit. They run small. So I got these in a men's size 10 because the Romaleo 3XDs I got were men's 10 and they fit me fine. Uh, in the Romaleo 2s and 3s, the 2s and 3s, those ran big. I got those in a 9.5 that fit me perfectly. These are small. I'm going to say that with an asterisk because these shoes are brand new. They're not broken in or anything. Who knows? They may, they might loosen up a little bit. Another thing about these is that they only come with one insert. They only come with the hard inserts. There's no training insert. This is just the firm insert on there. But this is a lot more flexible than the original firm inserts were. This is This feels like the soft insert, but it's, it says it's the firm insert. Who knows? Uh, inside the shoe, there's nothing else. Uh, anatomically, the shoe fits pretty high in the arches, so I would not recommend this for like a flat-footed person. You're gonna have the instep of the shoe pushing up against your arches like all day long. That's probably not gonna go away because it is an Olympic weightlifting shoe, and that part of the shoe is probably not gonna break in over time. Uh, it is that way for a reason. Um, so, if you don't like shoes that have like high insteps, then this is probably not going to be the shoe for you. So I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this shoe initially. I, I'm going to hit some lifts right now. We're going to see how it feels. Um, hopefully it opens up a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if it will, but hopefully, uh, because I don't want to have to go through this whole return exchange thing with these shoes. But um, stay tuned for more.
All right, guys, so I just finished my initial test slash workout of the Nike Roma Live 4s, and I have a couple things that I want to come back and talk about about these shoes. So today I worked up to a heavy power clean and full clean for the day. Uh, I worked up to 110 kilos, and uh, I have to say that I am fairly impressed with these shoes, man. They are rock solid Olympic weightlifting shoes. Even though they are heavy, they're very, very stable, and they're really, really responsive. They move with your feet very well. The toe box feels really nice. Uh, it's flexible. It's not that flexible. It's just flexible enough. There is a little bit of heel slip in these shoes. That is a little annoying, but if you had Romelia 2s, it's like almost exactly the same as those. Um, so you're not going to really be, I guess, missing anything. Um, the in-shoe comfort, I mean, it's not that great. It's, it's an Olympic weightlifting shoe. It's not awful either. I've had these shoes on for probably about an hour and a half straight now. And my feet aren't sore or anything. Uh, so that's, that's always a plus. Doubling back around to the fit. So these shoes still do run small. I'm going to still go with they run small. If you are coming from Romeo 2s or 3s, non-XD, you're going to want to go at least a half size up. But keep in mind that it's going to be a tight fit. I'm going to stick with my size 10s and hope to God that they break in. In the meantime, I'm going to order a size 10 and a half to see which one I like better in terms of fit. Uh, what it feels like for me is that it feels like my toes are being pushed inwards. And I don't really like that. I don't have my training shoes like that. Uh, it's a little annoying. Uh, it feels like my toes can't splay, which is a bad thing when you want to do any kind of jumping movement, obviously. Uh, another thing is that my toes are pretty much right at the very front of the shoe. I don't like that either. Um, but... The nice thing about the way that the toe box is shaped is that my Morton's toe, my second toe for my big toe, does not make contact with the front of the shoe. If it did, then it would be a no-brainer. I would not wear these shoes at all. So to rehash that, if you're coming from Romelia 2s or 3s, non-XD, go a half size up and just, just know that it's going to be a little bit tight. If you're coming from Romelio 3 XDs, you're going to want to go with the exact same size as those. If you're coming from Addy Powers, I'm going to definitely recommend that you go half a size up on your Romelio 4s. If you're coming from Legacy Lifters, those are going to be the same thing as the Romelio 2s and 3s. Size them a half size up. And if you're coming from absolutely no Olympic weightlifting shoes at all, then just get your normal running or training shoe size for your Romeo 4s. They might be tight initially. So like I said, I'm going to continue to wear these and try to break in the size 10. They are tight. In the meantime, like I said, I will order a 10 and a half and I'll probably do an update video showcasing like the difference between how a size 10 and 10 and a half fit. Uh, but in the meantime, you guys can watch me work out in the Romeo 4s on my Instagram. I post every single day of me doing workouts uh, at as many reviews as possible on Instagram. Um, very, very responsive there. So you guys can ask me as many questions as you want there. Send me DMs. I don't care. I'm really good about answering uh, any kind of messages that people send me. And if you guys have any questions, you can post them right here in the comments section and I'll try to answer them as, as best as possible in between this first impressions video and my full on review of the Nike Romaleo 4s. As always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.